I'm going with Austin to his farm where we're gonna do artificial insemination his cows so let's go check it out very interesting stuff I'm excited so here comes the man that does the insemination Austin hey hey Austin what's up hey so tell us what are we gonna exactly go and do now We're explain go to breed some cows Jack and take them to pasture good deal uh, hello how are you doing good that's for the cows so we, we use that for the cows right give them one beer after we breed them and they're guaranteed bread how are you I don't know, this guy Look keeps this following me girl. with his camera. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's going on? This man is weird. Oh. It's all for us. <laughs> How old am I? <laughs> We're gonna... I'm sure you're old enough. I'm 35. We're going to breed some cows. <laughs> I've never done this and I'm really excited about it. So I think there might be some graphic content, you know, disseminating cows can probably be a bit explicit. So yeah, just be aware. Thank you so much for following. I make these videos so that you can see what I do in America. If I get any opportunity to, to make a video to show you to get more information and knowledge or just to understand America in general and working on farms in America. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody that has followed me um, and that follows my journey. I really appreciate it. And if you are watching and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Hit a like, share the video, whatever you want to do. Uh, I will really appreciate it. So guys, let's go artificially inseminate cows. This is the form. Yep. Guys, South Dakota is so beautiful. Wherever you're watching from, if you ever have the time or chance or opportunity, you got to visit South Dakota. It's a beautiful place. You're beautiful. Oh, you're going to help us. Boots. What's the boots for? It's the mud's deep. It's the mud's deep. Are you going to help us, boy? Are you going to help us? So, we're going to round up the cows now. And then we're going to put them in a chute or something. Yep, we're going to put them in the chute. And then we're going to work our magic. Okay. This one's... She knows. <laughs> so how many are we gonna do? Did you say? Seven or eight. It's quite muddy. Uh, all the rain. You know where the soft spots are. Thanks for the boots. The boots helps. Does it get deeper? Got a got a nice fresh smell of cow poop. Goes in like you walk in it and it like all mushy. I'll you peep know, it out. You know how to bleep out words? I'll bleep out the words. Out? I'll bleep out out. So are these the ladies we're gonna inseminate? Hey, where must I go? In there. Come on! What is that? You're gonna hit them? It's like a pa paddle. cattle paddle. <laughs> yep. There we go. That seems to work. The cattle paddle works. They know their daddy. It's like, are we gonna close the gate? What's that sticker on their back? There's like a heat patch. Turn, these are the non-responders, but when that turns red, you breed them 12 hours after from okay. their eggs release. So they ready now? Yeah, I gave them Facto this morning, which is the gonadotropin releasing hormone, and that releases their eggs. So now tonight, these are non-responders, so now we're breeding them, hopefully that semen meets the egg at the right time. Okay. We should get 50% on these non-responders. Good deal. So that's the machine the, gun warmer. Get the right temperature. Yeah. The machine at the right temperature for going in the cow. My thaw unit, we're going under the pickup because I lost my other plug in. So we thaw semen at 93 to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so what is there semen in there now? Nope, I have to throw it in there yet. Okay. Oh, They're a little cold yet, so I gotta wait for that light to quit flashing. So you just heat them? Yeah, heat. it keeps the guns at the right temperature. Uh, yeah. I use the towels to wipe the water off of the semen straw. Yeah. Because water kills semen. I also use it to clean the vagina of the cow. Yeah. So we don't get shit in there. Okay. That's the semen tank. That's the semen's in there. This there has semen in it. This is the one that I'm going to pull out of for this cow. It has to be a certain temperature. Yep, it's frozen right now. It's frozen, and then you have to heat it up there. Yep. At what temperature? I, I thawed at about 90, usually 93 to 98 degrees, I thawed at. And then. 
pull out of there. Yeah. Put it in the warmer, keeps at the right temperature. I put it in the towel. That should be done for us by the time I get done here. So, Austin, where did you, how did you come about this? I mean, how did, uh, we I took mean, a class did, at Platt Livestock. Platt. Uh, how to AI. Okay. So what's the benefit of doing this? I mean, better like genetics. better genetics, better replacement heifers. The so semen comes it. from some of the top bulls in the country. Okay. So you buy a straw, we right? Semen yep. from two half we don't have to buy a quarter million dollar bull. We can just buy a one straw for 25 bucks. Yeah, exactly. And that's all you need. I mean, that's really all you need the bull for, right? Is yep. to breed and you don't need to feed him and everything. You just buy a little straw and mm -hmm. that makes sense to do it, I guess. I mean, it's a little more work this way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, that's... But uh, you have to know what you're doing, right? I mean, you can hurt the cow. Yeah, you can infect them. them. And if you're too aggressive, you can poke a hole in their uterus, sterilize them. Well, the vagina, not the uterus. Yeah. Okay, so the semen is inside that now. In the straw. Yep. And then this, straw. There's a tissue just in the bottom. A there's a little <laughs> tissue in the bottom of that semen, and then this pushes it out when I get it in the right spot in the cow. There's just a couple drops of semen in there. Wow. So, so, so how long have you been doing this? Five years. And how successful is it? Really? But I mean, what would you say is the success rate? I'd say about 70% we get. And we do natural heats more than cedars. We just get cedars in these because we need to get them to pasture and we need to get them bred. Yeah. So we set up the process, set them all up for one day, and we're doing them today. And then other earlier cows, we watch them for natural heats and we do one at a time. Eat yeah, he's feisty. The more she poops, the less he has to scoop out. That's right. Do you actually have to scoop out? Yeah. Um, I go under it though, so it's faster. But if there's too much in there. If there's too much, you gotta pull it out. Yeah, so that's the straw. She got any tone? So bit. But this, I mean, this doesn't hurt the cows or anything. Most of the time, not. Every now and again, you, I don't if know. If you don't do it the right way, I guess, yeah. Poking the wrong spot with that thing. If you can get, you get, get too far into the uterus, you can poke the front of the uterus, and I think that can hurt them. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes if they're pushing real hard, yeah. then you can't feel real good. Exactly. Yeah. Then it gets difficult, but if you can feel everything good, that yeah. works pretty good. So you can feel exactly the place where you have to put it in. Yeah, it's pushing like you've done already. He's fighting you a bit. Yeah, I understand. That can be difficult. How does this work? Like, is it just a sticker or? It turns red when you they cows jump on it. Oh. When they rub on it. it. Turns colors like that. Yeah. When the cows rub on it, this is all. It's, it's supposed to be red. Right? Oh, there we go. These non responders. Yep, she's a non responder. Non responder. She didn't respond very well to the cedar and the. Yeah. So she's done. So they're talking about non responder cows, non responders, and they've got that sticker there on the back. So if a bull or the other ones that get artificially inseminated. Where did you learn to do this? We took a class at. Plat livestock. Yep. Okay, so they offer these classes that you can take. And... Yep, once a year. It's yeah. put on through Genics as the company. That okay. They, they utilize the facilities at that plant livestock over there. Okay, that's good. And then they, they take like, what, maybe 20, 30 old cows and end up let everybody learn on them. Yeah, I mean, you have to so sort of... They'll, they'll do it and shift it. How many more, Dubs? So how do you know you, you hit the, oh, well, I mean, you feel with that end. Yeah. You gotta work your way through the uterine body, and once it's free, you'll feel it snap through. Yeah, some lube. So this keeps the temperature of the semen the right temperature yep. so that when it's inseminated, it can catch on. Keeps it the same internal temperature as the cow. Yeah. So Mr. Glenn here says he's been doing this for how many years? Mr. Glenn, 20... oh, say, uh, 25 years. Yeah. Quite a while. He knows what he's doing. You know who was the first person who ever inseminated a cow? Don't have a clue. How many years have they been doing this? I don't know, probably about 50 years longer. I wonder who figured it out. It must be probably some guy that tried it or said, I want to give it a go. You're going to need this. Jack. Yeah. We do it the day that we breed them. Yeah. To get your best chance of conception. Because if you do it on day 14 to 21 after breeding, those are the most 
important days after your AI, and that's when the cow decides if they're pregnant or not. So you okay. don't want to put extra stress on them Yeah. from day 14 to 21 or even 7 to 21. So are they going to pasture now? Or? Going on the trailer and heading to pasture right now. Yeah. How many generations farm or you got, do you guys have? I'd be the fourth generation. Yeah. Great grandpa Julius, grandpa James, dad, and me. Okay. Yep. Yeah, grandpa that's good. Ju Great grandpa Julius started this place and this cow barn, I bet you, is 130 years old. Uh, this one? Yep. That's pretty neat. The sun is bad now, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take some cows to pasture. Mm -hmm. We got eight pairs to head out right now. All the ones that was Everything that we just bred. Artificially. The non-responders. The non-responders. <laughs> yep. Good deal. Yep. Okay, let's take them out to the pasture. Yep, we're ready, Jock. Okay, good deal. How many cows do you guys farm with? We run 100 head. 100, okay. Yep. And I mean, that keeps you quite and busy. We do some projects here and there where I'm feeding a couple extras, but we got pasture for about 100 head, and it keeps us busy with this registered cattle stuff. Yeah. Like tonight, AI and them, all the extra times they gotta go through the shoot, yeah. keeping the paperwork up to date. Yeah, you know, a lot of stuff to keep track of. So do you think, I mean, what do you think about artificial I like insemination? It. I enjoy doing it and I like seeing the results. Yeah. From the feeder calves you get at weaning weight to the, when you keep your placements back, the difference you see in the quality of females you got. Yeah, we probably have to help with that. Dude. Yeah, we must ask them. One pair at a time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. On your way to the pasture, not the pasture in Demok. <laughs> Friday, I'm breeding the last of them for the year. Okay. How many are you going to sell this year? Bulls? Yeah, well, bulls or Should have about cows. 15, 20 bulls. I'll just sell my way up cows, my call cows. That's about it. And some feeder calves. Okay. Yep. Yeah, thanks for inviting me to come with you, man. No problem, Jock. I appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Yeah. So we're going to take them to the pasture. Pasture by Stickney, not the pasture in Dimmock. <laughs> yeah. Jack's going to the pasture in Dimmock after this. Yeah, we are. We're going for a road trip. Hey, somebody taking out some cows, maybe. What are you going to do now? Hang on. Where is the calf? Right here. It's waiting for you. Do you need help? Uh-oh. Get out of here. Are we going to drive past your place? No, we won't be going back. Okay. You can see it from here, though. It doesn't look like it's on fire, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How long? How long? Chase me out the gate because we're right next to the state highway. What? Come on, little moon. Yay! Freedom! You want to see my pet? Wow. He remembers you. Is it a year or she? How are you gonna know? Well, they got patches on, so uh, I'm gonna patches are red, that means the bull got them. Yeah. Look at this guy, he wants to go back home, Jock. <laughs> Load him up. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that guy ain't far behind. 
Yeah. yeah. This bull camp right there, the yellow tag is a stud. I'm your buddies in South Africa. Yeah.